Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Well, in today's video, I wanna share with you guys a really quick tutorial on how to add wings or side panels to your floral backdrop wall. So I've shared this wall with you guys before. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I just wanna show you how versatile it is once you add wings and different color panels on either side of it. Um, I got this from Rose Morning. You can definitely get one of these by visiting rosemorning.com. And if you use my name, Melanie as the code then you can save an additional percent off so definitely check them out and I'm going to show you guys how versatile this wall is if you haven't seen the video on how I put this together and unboxed it from beginning to end I will definitely um, clip it into this video so that you can go back and reference that video um, probably at the end of this video I'll show you guys that ent entire tutorial and review but for the purpose of today's video, I just kind of want to show you guys, give you kind of a recap of what it looked like before and then how you can add in color because I know not everyone wants maybe, you know, all white. You want it to be a little bit more versatile and that is definitely possible when you add different wings and backdrops on to either side. So without any further ado, let's hop right in. So in order to do this, you only need two full sets of the um, uprights and please get a ladder. Don't do what I'm doing here. I, I know better. So what you'll need is two uprights, two bases. Well, no, you'll need four uprights, four bases and three crossbars. That is what you'll need in order to create this look. And if you want to do the double swag, you're going to need um, five crossbars and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment of course if you guys are signing up for Lux Academy you'll get like recipes and everything in full um, in Lux Academy but I just kind of want to take you guys through this process this is a nacho he's we've been with each other for so long in terms of business he and I started out together way back in the day when I did beauty pageants and then I started doing event planning and for beauty pageants, I used to have backdrops um, on the back of the stage for my beauty pageants. Like that's how long ago I've been doing backdrops. Um, and then I got into event planning and I started incorporating them into my events and things just kind of took off just like my pageants. A lot of people competed in my pageants because they loved the fact that um, I shared, um, you know, I had like really beautiful stage um, presentation and then it just kind of carried over to event planning so at any rate once you have all of your fabrics there you know you you want them to be very full um, and then once you get them all in place and you get them all straightened out and this is going to be on the crossbar in front of the bar you guys just saw so that's why I said you need it too and we actually lost a um, extender that's why i like the castle top ones versus the ones you need to use the extenders if you guys can get the castle top ones definitely check that out but we had to do a little macgyvering here because i did lose one of the extenders i, I don't even know where my extenders are um but if you guys are just now buying a set i will give you guys the exact ones to order in lux academy because the extenders you know of course when you lose them it can be a little bit of a headache so once you get those and you want to extend the entire wall up to the ceiling and then you want to start your draping process again you want to make sure all your drapes are pressed and um, even and evenly distributed um, throughout the actual backdrop wall the second thing you wanna do is you wanna start gathering your fabric and you wanna pull it towards you in a pleat type motion and you'll see me doing it on the opposite side as well. So I have my little leopard head rag on you guys. Well, my mentor doesn't like when I say that, but my little head wrap, I'll say that. But I really like it. Um, it's really convenient for me. So anyway, yeah. So you do that and you use zip ties to kind of zip tie it to the edge of the fold and then you just want to make sure that it is all even and straighten out your curtains at from top to bottom like 
the biggest thing is making sure that they're pressed and that's one thing that we did not do because my um, steamer was at the wedding site because I did this the same exact weekend that I did the wedding and so my steamer was not on hand but just keep in mind that whether you're dealing with fabrics or backdrops or whatever the case may be pressing them is an absolute must it is an absolute must in order to get that clean and concise look and one of the things i love about this is i kept the back of the backdrop white because i wanted to blend with the the floor wall and i wanted to just show you guys how different that looks like how those two panels gave that a completely different look and this is the look that we had on mother's day it turned out absolutely incredible it made incredible pictures and we were able to extend like families that had more than four or six people um, because of the two tails on either side we were able to extend it and i did this exact same look at a graduation party that i recently shared i will link that video as well but you see how amazing that backdrop looks in the back so absolutely incredible and you could because they come in two eight by eights in my next look i'm gonna split them up and do one on one side and one on the other side so you guys can see what i'm talking about because they are so versatile so these are the type of things that i'm going to be covering in lux academy for those of you guys who are interested go to my website melanieturner.design i'm only going to accept a about 25 students we'll run the class for eight weeks and then i'll do 25 more because i don't want to be overwhelmed i will be spending a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you guys i know i've gotten several questions about um how much the class costs how long will the class last is it going to be central time or eastern time or you know will you be able to go back and take some of these things all of those things are going to be addressed in the email that i send out to you guys on june the first so stay tuned for that if you are interested definitely be on the lookout for that email because the first people that fill up those seats that is going to be it like this is not one of those gimmicks where it's like you know i want hundreds of students in a class because i'm really doing this as a test job and i want to make sure that everything goes well um, some of the classes will be self-facilitated and then some of the classes are going to be live with me and with my staff so i want to make sure that you guys are fully grasping the concept so if you are interested in event planning event design event decor if you're interested in where i get source all of my materials my contracts like this is the class that you want to be in so i will also be having a live class for sure um, in july in september and in november so be on the lookout on my website for those as well those classes will be limited to 10 students only. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I will see you guys at the next video. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers. <laughs>